updates, food reviews, and shenanigans ensue. Hey everybody, Rick here. Let's go see what's new at Islands of Adventure. Shadow Monkey does not come out this time of day. This is the last weekend for Grad Bash. Next month starts Grad Venture. I'm starting this video a little later in the day than usual. Therefore, I'm already hungry. So the food review will be early in the video for a change. You know what else is going on here in the park? The Prep and Rec Grand Nationals cheerleading competition. The construction walls around the truffle trees have been removed and it looks like they did a lot of flooring work here. This appears to be new flooring as well as the walkway. But you fans of construction walls don't despair. New construction walls are here. They are around one fish, two fish as that ride has closed down and has the park enhancement in progress signs up. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish will be closed from April 27th through May 24th. Today's lunch will be something at the Circus McGurkis, but it is something that's not offered in the table service part of the restaurant. It is something offered only via mobile order. And here is my lunch, the Contortion Corn Dog for $10.99 Italian sausage pepperoni and mozzarella corn dog with marinara sauce. All done with my lunch. Time for Rick's quick food review. And for those of you who do not watch all the way to the end of the videos, this is what you're missing. I do these at the end of the video, but early this time. Now, the contortion corn dog. Mixed reviews, mixed reviews. Parts of it I really like. The sausage, a spicy sausage. I like spicy Italian sausage. The pepperoni was good. The seasonings, the oregano, all very good. But here's what I was disappointed in. The breading. Like, I like a little bit of a, a crispiness to the outside of the breading. It didn't have it. It seemed like it was heated up in a microwave. The bread was too soft. You know what I'm talking about? You know when you get like frozen corn dogs from the grocery store, you have the option of either microwaving them or doing them in the oven. I always do mine in the oven so I have that crispiness to the outside of it. This one didn't have it. I think it was microwaved. So for that reason, uh, I can't give it my full support. Kind of a, a mid-level offering there at the Circus McGurkis. Maybe if you try it, your results will vary, but that was my experience today. Also, I experienced a madhouse today in Seuss Landing, mainly due to the cheerleading competition. This little area back there set aside for them in that private event and just so many cheerleading groups, especially the young ones, hanging out over there by the Circus McGurkis. It was crazy. And speaking of that cheerleading competition, it's being held in the old Blue Man Group Theater or you really old school people, Nickelodeon. They used to sometimes do it over there at the stadium by Toon Lagoon, but the event has grown so large, they're now using that Blue Man Group area. I did a live stream over at Studios this morning, and it wasn't crowded at all. The wait time for Gringotts was only 15 minutes, but over here at Islands, at least so far, it's, it's way busier. That may change as we get further away from Seuss Landing and uh, where the cheerleaders are hanging out, but I don't know. I mean, looking pretty crowded here too. It shouldn't be any surprise that Islands is busier than Studios. Islands of Adventure is a top five theme park for attendance, whereas Studios is not. And you know what my takeaway with that is? Rides are important. More rides, better rides equal more guests. Maybe studios should invest in more rides and better rides and get that park attendance up as well. For example, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, currently a 90 minute wait, a much beloved fan favorite ride. Overhead Islands. Now, for studios, let's compare to 
Gringotts. Escape from Gringotts. The main ride over there in the Diagon Alley area. It is currently a 40 minute wait. Even Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey has a longer wait time than Gringotts. It's 45 minutes for this. And the thing is, here in Hogsmeade at Islands of Adventure, there's three rides in here versus Diagon Alley. Gringotts is the only ride. Well, look at this. The Tomes and Scrolls Magical Wand Spot. Not jinxed for a change. One of my favorite things to say. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I just did an entire video detailing this park, Jurassic Park. Food, fun, photos. Go check it out. It's popping up on your screen right there. It just popped up. Check it out. Here at the watering hole, I was going to try the mocktail today, but the line, the line is super long. I just put it in my notes to try during a different video. So make sure you are subscribed. And in the future, you'll see me try the Raptor Pack Spritz. The Velocicoaster wait time, zero minutes? I don't think that's quite accurate. Let's go down to the entrance and see what the wait time really is. So the wait time's actually 90 minutes. The sign up front, missing the nine. Luckily, one of the leads here is a friend of the channel, so I let him know about the sign up front. Regarding the Velocicoaster, my three favorite features, the top hat right there, the zero G stall right there, and this Heartline roll, which Universal calls the Mosasaurus roll. Reach for the water. Have you guys ever noticed the manhole covers here? They're themed. And they're not the only themed manhole covers here at Universal Orlando Resort. On the hours and calendar page of UniversalOrlando.com, they will list the temporary ride closures with the dates that they are expecting them to be closed. The Pteranodon Flyers is listed as a closed ride, but they don't have a time frame for the closure. This closure is unexpected and unplanned. The Jurassic Park River Adventure, it's been running well, operating smoothly lately. I think we have a raft getting ready to come down now. I think I hear the T-Rex roaring. Just give it a second, yes. Scream, splash, laugh. And speaking of T-Rex roaring, roar, roar, roar. Here at the Skull Island Reign of Kong sign, I'm on the lookout for them to put up a do not climb sign because of that kid climbing up this couple weeks back, but I don't see any do not climb signs yet. But I'm gonna keep an eye out for them. I still have not been on this since it's been converted to 2D. It's currently at 45 minute wait. That's too long of a wait for a lesser ride. But the next time that I see it at a 15 minute wait, I'll be all over that. Time to mosey through Toon Lagoon. See if anything's new in here. What's happening? The What's the Matter You shop used to be home to more How to Train Your Dragon merchandise, but see this used to be the section for it but now it's down to just one 25 dollar t-shirt the hush bomb detonator still missing still gone and these trees continue to be a problem they fence them in keep them from running away see i told you i had shenanigans in store for you you know one thing you never see at Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios anymore. Paper maps laying on the ground. Here on the bridge to Popeyes and Bluto's barges, these little blasters here, they control the cannons right there. But to the right of those, over here, these little buttons, there's three of them, like these right here, they control the shower heads. I would do it, but like there's no there's no pricing. 
I mean, it takes like debit cards and credit cards and Apple Pay, but <laughs> I don't know how much it's gonna cost me. Oh heck, I did it anyway. Kind of fun. So that was one blast. How many do I get? Let's try it again. Waiting. Waiting. Here comes another. Oh, it's just one. It's just one. Hopefully that didn't cost me more than a dollar or two. Actually, since I used Apple Pay, I can go into my wallet on my iPhone and see it cost one dollar per usage. I think I had a dollar's worth of fun. Apparently we have entered the shenanigans part of the video. So I just stepped into the pass holder lounge trying to convince them to have free water for pass holders. We'll see how that goes. And I was talking to the person and they told me just the other day Betty Boop's leg was swinging and kicking. Why can't I ever witness that? At this point, I think it's just an urban legend. But anyway, back to free water for pass holders in the pass holder lounge. That is our request universal. It doesn't have to be like in the office where you have the fancy water jugs and a service provides the water to you. You know what they do over there in Springfield at Duff's? They have these water buckets, ice water, with little plastic cups next to them. They do it in Moe's as well. I would take that inside of the pass holder lounge. I just think it would be a nice perk for pass holders to have some, some water when they go in there to relax. Am I wrong? But I digress, I suppose. Over here by Toon Lagoon, this stadium, the cheerleading competition used to be held in here sometimes, but they've graduated up to the Blue Man Group. So once again, this area has become obsolete. What to do with it? The prizes at the Midway Games here by Toon Lagoon and uh, in between Marvel, all prizes I think I've seen before, but I do want to point out one thing. The best prize here at Top Glow, Mojo Jojo. Oh, I saw a lot of him when my kids were growing up. Into Marvel we go, and I wonder, have they fixed the entrance to the Spider-Man attraction yet? This has been used as the secondary entrance for the Spider-Man attraction. It's closed right now, so maybe the actual entrance is open. Well, the construction walls are down. The entrance is open. Let's see what work they did over here on the floor. There it is. It's looking good. And I think with that Spider-Man face being done, I think all of the specialty concrete work they wanted to do has been completed. Just in time for a launch. Every entrance in Marvel Superhero Island has special painted concrete, except Doctor Doom. Is it because he's a villain? Over here by the armored car, this communication pod has been covered up. And I don't know for how long that's been. The crime lines and these communication pods here all appear to be in good working order. Let's test it. All in all, villains, thugs, and ne'er do wells. Word on the street is that the Avengers are engaged in an outer space battle to save the Earth. So it's a free for all here. I got dibs on Sid and Marty's jewelry exchange because I'm getting engaged. You know what? I take it back. The Hulk, he doesn't have a cool paint job either. Not yet he doesn't. Not yet. So obviously we're at Islands of Adventure to see what's new, to see the updates here. But what about Universal Studios Florida? Well, those updates are in this video right here. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Don't miss the updates. Click right here. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Making Nikki show the way. It's gonna be a good day.